I just want to make a, a few comments and then I end up with a question. I just want to, to thank uh, Wee Cheng for making, I think you're the only candidate out of all the VPs so far who actually spoke about something more than just operational issues. I think that's fundamentally very important. I think, um, I think as, as, as an ex-co member, you are leader, servant leadership, I totally agree with that. You, you do something, you shouldn't get carried away by just operational issues. Whether you're VPPR, VPM, or VPE, you must always look at it from a strategic point of view, a helicopter view, what ultimately are your actions moving towards to? It's one thing to talk about slots, but slots are slots. <laughs> I, I know I like to do slots and things like this, but again, they're just operational issues, hygiene factors. And I, I, I take it that all of you will have ideas on how to solve the slots issue. But I mean, the points you mentioned about being, having a structured process, recognizing the mentor-mentee system, as well as uh, making sure that your newsletter is in line with VPPR's plan, it, it's a, a more structured learning process. And I, and I want to commend you highly for that. I, I think that's something that requires someone to look above what is on the surface. And I think you have given that a lot of thought. And I just want to say thank you for doing that. We appreciate it. Uh, my, my only concern is that you have a lot of ideas. And I, I'm sure all of you candidates have a lot of ideas. Um, it's one thing to say you want to do this. It's another thing to get your exco on board to follow with you. And I just want to, to highlight that. I also want to give the rest of our candidates a chance that I think often you might get lost in doing the hygiene factors, doing the operational issues. So I just want to hear from each one of you one more time. In which you can repeat it. <laughs> what ultimately is your overall goal as a VPE or VPBR? I think sometimes you get a bit mixed up. The VPB, you want to do publicity, VPR, you want to do education, you talk about culture. It's very surface, but how, how, what, what ultimately is your end goal? Where do you want to bring the club to? Slots is one thing, you know. Getting a team meeting is one thing, but ultimately, why are you doing all this for? What is the end objective? So perhaps you can rehash that point one more time. Thank you. For me, my purpose, my idea of having a, of being a VP is that today you are VP. And members come to the club. What is your goal? You have to know what is the member's goal in joining the Toastmasters Club. If your if the member's goal is to, to is to improve themselves, is to become better, is to become better leaders and better communicators, then what you must do is to help them grow, is to help them achieve their aim. If you can't do this, you are already failed your first objective. What's more, you are going to talk about other strategies, other plans that you have in mind. This is the first and foremost, the call that lies for the Toastmasters. And about more in-depth issues like um, operationals, all these operational issues, yes, you can have more of speech loss and yeah, I'm pretty sure that the, this exco will implement more speech loss for the members. But what we what, but what we must enforce is that there must be quality over quantity. Members join Toastmasters to grow, to become better speakers, and we must make them on par, be on the bar that when they go out to work, when they go out to speak they are recognized, not just because, oh, I'm a CC, I'm a CL. You, you must let people recognize you for who you are, for your competency, for your capabilities. This is what PPE job, to educate people, to improve them, to help to facilitate their improvements. For CPPR, my direct goal is, of course, to promote our club internally and externally. Just like for externally, how can we promote our club just by sending people to visit if none of them is talking at the club? We need to send people to talk at the club, external club, to let people know how good our club is. Just like we can even do promotion internally with 
is not done that much like maybe we can set a booth when there is an open house at, at SIM maybe you can say something like if you want to be a great MC like the person on the stage visit this booth or maybe we can send in some proposal to the many CCA in our school we can send in proposal like saying we can MC for your club if you need MC and during the MC we can promote our club before the, before the event starts so there are a lot of things because I do believe that our Toastmaster club have spoken quite a lot of time to MC some events in like year or something but I just want to make sure do you make a clear approach like we are from this certain club that we are outstanding at public speaking that if you want to be like us you can visit our club and take a look that's from me thank you I believe that the standard of our club, right, it's not by chance, but by the weakest speaker. So every one of you, uh, every one of us who come to TMC, wants to reach a certain standard of communication, so that we're all speaking. So as a VP, I want to reach every one of us to have that standard, to be confident to go out there and to speak in front of a lot of people, be it unseen, be it, be it for um, class outreach or anything, because I myself have done MCs before. I can tell you some of my experiences about that. So, but as, and as a VPPR, I will reach out to more people, to get more people into our club and to let people know that although we are a student's club, but we are much better than a lot of the clubs. Okay. Well, I believe at its very core, the EM club is about one thing. People coming, your speech right? Everyone can do speakers. They have it in them. What's the problem? The fear of being rejected by others, of being judged. We come here into this <coughs> nice, cohesive club. People have the power to come up here and give a speech. And once they gain that confidence, we will aid them along, but not by hand holding, by giving them the support that they need, identifying that their potential mistakes, and help them in a friendly way. And this way, when they build up their confidence, Next time when we go out to PR events, when we promote these people, when they say they come from SIM Toastmasters, you can see the confidence instilled in them, the power that they actually have as a speaker. And they can see that SIM Toastmasters is the club to bring that out in them. They will respect the club and they will respect us. Even though your that is your job scope, if you can, 
and the exports can, can support each other, help out in roles which they are not normally supposed to. They will function much better. Using just one word for each. Okay, let's start with one word. One word? Okay. Both? One word will cover both. Yes. Weakness, IT. 